Welcome to the basic tutorial for Star Trek Online. This is open beta footage. Now, you start off in a starbase, which you can choose to beam down to, and in a later game, it's expected you can beam down to Earth as well. In the starbase, you can choose to pimp out your ship and your characters and customize all their stuff. Once you leave the starbase, you realize that there's an entire sector full of different solar systems that you can choose to visit. If you decide to leave this sector, it'll prompt you to warp out to a different sector. Imagine it basically looking like a chessboard with multiple sectors and square divisions. Once you cross that border, you can choose to go into another one, which could be completely different. Now some of these sectors are solo player mode only, some of them are multiplayer. It depends on what the events are that are taking place in the area. If you encounter a random mission, which can happen when you're in some of these sectors, you'll find yourself doing a mission that could be very similar to an episode that you may have seen before in Star Trek. Some of these missions are easy. Find a bunch of floating junk in space. Sometimes you need to go down to the ground and take care of business. Taking care of business also is very easy when you make your away team your friends. When you have human-controlled players, it can be a lot easier to take care of the enemy than when you have your artificial intelligent players along with you. Sometimes buffing your weapons can give you the extra punch needed to really put that enemy in the smoke. Tactics are always a good advantage. If you shoot people from the side, you can really take them off guard and cause a lot more damage. When you're in a ship, you need to guard your shields at all time. You have four different sections of your shield, the up, left, back, and right. Now, these sections also need to be repaired while you're fighting. So you're not only doing offense, you're doing defense at the same time. Now, if you cannot keep these shields up, that's when you'll see that they collapse, as you can see here. When one shield collapses, it means you're vulnerable. When someone launches a big powerful weapon such as a torpedo, you're gone. Now in bigger battles, it gets even more intense. Multiple lasers and full spread torpedoes across the entire map. You can have events where the Borg are invading the Federation, and even the Klingons, which are humanly controlled, can choose to enter and fight either Federation or Borg. So you can be taking damage from the front from the Borg and from the back from the Klingons, making it a really tough battle. Try not to get too close. Now, like every other major MMO, there's also looting. All you have to do is get within a certain range of the blinking yellow orb that's on your screen as a spaceship. And once you're in range, you can just simply choose to loot it or not. There are also loot features such as need, greed, and you can pass it. You can also choose who is the ringleader for the loot system. You can choose different methods such as round robin or free for all. When you're on the ground, there's also something called your personal shield. As you can see in the top, that's either blue or yellow depending on its condition. It automatically replenishes itself, just like your hull integrity of your ship, which is always repairing, as long as the shields are up. You also have a customizable bridge, which is pretty cool. But all this and more, well, it's just the beginning. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial and look for us in Star Trek Online, the Arcturian Guard.